They're off, and Barrington uh, dwelt in the stalls and double up, made a slow start for this home of winners at valuerator.co.uk handicap. This time they're racing more towards the centre of the course. Good start made by Sir Roderick. The light blue headgear spearheads the field with on the right in the cove in the mauve and black. On the left, the white face cheek pieces of Satchville Flyer. Madam tonsi has got the orange cap just tracking the leaders. Barrington in the noseband is now just behind them towards the right, towards the left, the white sleeves and cap of Glamorous Crescent alongside Howard Fez, light blue with the darker armlets and the blue and pink chevrons on the sleeves of Double Up, but it's... Uh, Roderick, who leads under Sean Levy as they make their way now towards the last three furlongs. On the far right is in the cove, and this time they're just edging over towards the far side. There's two lengths to Madame Tonsi. She's pushed along to try and close. Satchville flies under pressure. Ridden along to improve is Barrington, then double up, striving to make progress. Further back to Glamorous Present, and Howard Fez has dropped away at the rear. So Roderick's got company now over on the far side in the cove, has challenged and put his head in front. Barrington's within two lengths back in third. They've drawn on from Madame Tonsi but it's In the Cove who's forged on as they approach the final furlong. In the Cove by three lengths. The front running Sir Roderick is in second. Barrington's a couple of lengths away in third. Racing well inside the final furlong. It's In the Cove. Ross Orion pushing this one clear but will win with a fair bit in hand. In the Cove wins by the best part of four lengths from Sir Roderick in second. Barrington third and Madame Tonsi fourth.